Hi, this is Rick Eimer with the Palo Alto Weekly, and we're here today with Claire Lynn, a junior at Palo Alto High School. She's a swimmer, and she's our Athlete of the Week this week for winning two events against Los Gatos in a dual meet. Uh, she won the 50 free and the 100 free, and I'm sure she was on probably a couple of the winning relays, too. Um, and, of course, Palo Alto is uh, one of the powerhouses in, in swimming, and they'll be looking to... Uh, you know, to do well at both CCS and uh, state this, and Claire will be a part of that. So, Claire, just talk a little bit about, you know, you had a, a pretty good uh, competitor with you in, in the Los Gatos Gal, and, you know, just talk about those couple races with her. Oh, yeah, like, um, she was actually, like, I actually kind of knew her a little bit because we both swim different club teams, so we kind of raced with each other before, and I was, like, oh, I was a little bit worried because I was, like, okay, I want to win for my team. I want to get the points because Danny kind of kind of wanted to pump us up and saying oh, it's almost close to Scaval, so we want to get pumped up. And I was a little nervous, but after the flip turn, I kind of pushed off, and I kind of saw I was a little bit far ahead, so I was, like, okay, I got this, so we'll see how this goes. Right, and that was in both races. You you also uh, extend, I think you won by a second in the 50 free and two seconds in the 100 free, if I'm not mistaken, so pretty good times you know early this this part of the season I know, and like I said the league finals are coming up now do you do you guys set your priorities at the beginning of the season like we want to win league we want to win CCS we want to win state or, or how does that go yeah so in the beginning we all have a group meeting and with Danny and he kind of gives us a little bit of a speech about how he tries to motivate us and how we always how when there's new people that come um, new people that come on the team a um, they want to like make sure that we're all together and we also want to win Scavals again and CCS because last year we that's what we accomplished last year, which is great. So we want to hopefully we can repeat that as well and hopefully get a little bit farther in states as well. Yeah, not too much farther to go. You finished second, I guess, in state <laughs> last year. So, uh, and of course, you swim with some some other great swimmers, uh, Grace and, and Zoe. Um, both both of them are. are pretty darn good and Grace is going to Stanford what, what does that mean to have teammates like that oh it's phenomenal like I love like training with like Grace and Zoe at high school although we like maybe we swim at different sides it's always so fun to like come together and be connected and Grace is phenomenal and same with Zoe they always bring such good vibes to the group so it's amazing yeah that's uh that's one of the things of you know talking to the Stanford swimming people you know Grace is going to fill in a very important role for them in the breaststroke and uh you know, and it's something amazing since they just won the national title. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. but uh, you know, and then, you know, swimming against those kind of people, though, I mean, that, does that, uh, it's got to be motivating, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. It kind of makes me want to train harder. And, like, I love, like, racing, even if it's just my pally teammates, like Zoe and um, Grace. They're always super kind and always super motivating. Like, they're always helping with each other on, like, our technique and trying to motivating us as well. So it's awesome that... Grace has accomplished like her goal of going to Stanford, which is phenomenal. And same with Zoe. And me and Zoe are kind of in the same place of like college recruiting. So we'll see what happens about that too. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you'll get a lot of attention. I'm sure that uh, Palo Alto is known for that. But uh, you know, also you swim in the summer. It's kind of a year-round sport. Um, most sports are these days. But for the really elite swimmers, you know, you 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 go to the Palo Alto Stanford uh, Aquatic Club. How how does that affect well, I'm just kind of talk about, you know, swimming in the summertime and then bringing that to high school. Um, so a little bit in the summertime, like since high school is only for like a couple months compared, you don't you don't really get to see some of the people who just swim as high school. Like, um, well, I obviously I see Grace and Zoe a lot and that's really cool, too. And at meets, it's a little bit more intense, but and a little bit more like sacrifices that we have to make during the summer if we want to accomplish our goals but also during high school it's kind of a little bit more team bonding and how like you're more focused on winning for the team than more for your individual um times ah, great so of course uh, high school is always you know once in a lifetime experience so you got to enjoy it and do all that so that was claire lynn she's our athlete of the week this week uh congratulations thank you so much